stage, Madison Lentz. Next up, we have Kylie Zamansky.
it makes us feel better. Yeah. That's yeah, Steve for sure. I know. What do you do? I mean, I, well, I don't you know. I just go sleep. Later. I don't, I don't sleep. <laughs> You're ready for the next day. Right. Right. Yeah, it's beat. It, it's uh, they they yeah. wipe us out every day. You know, if you or if you do a full day, twelve hour day out there in those in the woods with all the ticks and the chiggers and all that other crap running around, sweating all day long, you don't have time to wind. Down. You don't have any energy to even wind down. Sometimes I ride with Scott Wilson. Yeah, well, that happens. <laughs> Sometimes I like to take rides with him in Georgia. He has a driver's license. He used to have a driver's license.
was my fault. You know, you usually get a call about it, but the script was just sitting there in the wake up room. I picked it up and I said, Oscar dies. <laughs> <laughs> And I mean, I'm sad. The hardest thing about it is, say if you get killed on Tuesday, you have to come to work Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. <laughs> but you know, you know, you still got to give 100 percent to your fellow actors and actresses and stuff. So even though you know you're gonna die, it's been a cool run. So that's what we're doing. <laughs> Those letdowns were a lot more uh, thoughtful and gentle in mine because I was at the premiere and it was right before I did an interview with ET Entertainment Tonight. They were like, How do you like playing the character of T Dog? I was like, Well, and Glenn walked behind me and said, By the way, your character's about to die. So. <laughs>
offer some service in the common good of protecting Carol. I did think it was strange that every bullet that missed Rick, <laughs> several, every bullet that was shot at Max Lane dead was, uh, seemed to hit him. Uh, So, you know, when you go, though, it's true, because uh, what, what Vincent says is because, and then Glenn had asked me not to say anything to Cash till he could visit with him, and then finally the, the, they get the word, and then it's like, oh, dude, and you're like, yeah, I know, but you know what? It was me or you. Just think of it that way, <laughs> Beth. <laughs> think of it that way, Carol. Carol, Herschel. Um... Alan. Uh, but I'm, you know, I, I'm so happy and grateful to have been part of it and to continue to be part of it, clearly, as you do. Uh, but I, I would say that I'm most disappointed for Axel. I mean, I'm going to go on and get to do some really cool stuff, but I, I felt like Axel had a lot left to do and talk about. Yeah. We're just getting it over. So um, I was bummed for the young man. <coughs> to that time. Hopefully, they might change their mind, but it happens. It, is that what happens? Like, do they tell you you're going to be in so many episodes, like when they sign uh, on? No. No? It's always a surprise. <laughs> yeah. I, well, I was told, I was told initially I had only two episodes, and I ended up going three seasons. Wow. Yeah. And then, then I was gone for a whole, a whole season, a whole season two, and then came back, and then I'm back in season three. So. Okay. Question in the back. Go ahead. Me? No, girl, all the way in the back of the stand. Yeah. Make it loud, baby. Thank you. 
of the other faces, like come and go, like vampires, ghosts, um, werewolves, <laughs> ghosts, demons, prisoners. <laughs> Okay, the, the question for those that didn't hear was uh, for the girls, were, are their parents on the set and are they given any restrictions on the screenplays? Um, my mom always would read the script first, just in case there's like, like uh, just bad things in there. And I'd always be itching to read it too because every, like, every time the script comes out, I was like, what's it going to come out? And um, so there was an Somebody else's character name was Mouse. 
Big, uh, Big Tiny. I know y'all remember Big Tiny. So yeah, you know, sometimes they try to cover a lot of things, uh, but you know, once we sign that contract, I ain't saying nothing. <laughs> I think the hard, hardest part to this job is getting a job and not saying anything for like four months until the show comes out. So that was really hard. Yeah, my process was interesting. I knew I was auditioning for Michonne, but uh, she wasn't called Michonne because it was such a top secret that they were even auditioning on the show. So she was called Lily. And, um, you know, on, this, on the page of the sides, she was called Lily. And on my contract, she was, she's called Lily. Because they were trying to really keep it locked down. Because they did not want to hit know that anyone was auditioning for Michelle. And so even during, it was like a month-long process of auditioning. And even at that time, it was like, you're not allowed to say that you're auditioning for this woman. So yeah, it was pretty locked down. I forgot to mention, I also went in for Lily. <laughs> Come on, you're better than this. 
and, and I'm like, uh-huh. <laughs> the next episode, they had to eat their words. You know, in the next step, when, and when I did the monologue on top of the roof, before I cut my hand off, everybody ate their words. Because that four and a half minutes kicked ass. <laughs> Never even knew about it. 
But I'm glad and I'm blessed and I'm honored to be here, be a part of this, and be a part of all of y'all. Thank you.
But yeah, it was um, it was extremely intense, and very very different from the other sword training I had done. Um, but it was the best stuff. It's just awesome stuff. I love it. It's crazy because she has like her own uh, studio to train, and like ooh, when she was first coming in, it's like who's in there? What what are they building in there? And you hear all this instruction, and then we had no idea what, what was going on. And finally, we, we met the guy, and she was just realized it was you. Meet up after every one of these training sessions, which were like three weeks. It was like damn. And then this music. Who was coming? She works incredibly hard at it and makes it look easy, but she busts her butt to make it look easy for y'all. Yeah, that looks cool. Good stuff. Thank you guys. <laughs> but you know, remember, all Merle's the only ones that were taking it away from him before. <laughs> So we 
be Korean. So we decided, you know, we're just going to wait until a marathon comes on. And then I got casted. So then I started watching the show, and it's amazing. And even though I died, eh, <laughs> I still love the show. Marty, you really didn't yes. die. It's okay. <laughs> I know, but I immediately started watching it because so I could see my character, and then I got hooked on it. <laughs> Okay, we're going to take a few more questions, right here in the middle. Uh, so, since opposite the track, will we see a relationship between Merle and uh, Joan? Yeah. Woo! Merle and Michelle already have a relationship. You can, you I can love see relationships. It if you watch closely. <laughs> She turned me down. Just sad. With the yellow shirt? Poor girl. No action whatsoever on that show. What was the most challenging scene for you guys to shoot? Say that again? What was the most challenging scene to shoot? The most challenging scene for who? Um, not everyone. For me, probably um, during the hair brushing scene. And like, and the, the, the roast beef, like the flesh was roast beef and it was like pretty good. <laughs> but then again, it had like food done on it and I kept on having to spit it, spit it out because it got too full and I was just sitting there and I had a bag over my head. So, <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Mr. Moderator, is get about 10 or 15 questions, real quick ones, and and everybody just answer real fast, just okay. a little bit like of two or three word answer. That's so much fun. Want to try it? Yeah, definitely. All right. Uh -huh. Chris. No. Yes. <laughs> Maybe. Yes. 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 Okay. Right here in the cowboy hat. Satisfied, huh? <laughs> uh, yes, I'm seeing the entire picture as I as I can see it, which you guys can't fully see yet. Yes. I'm I'm satisfied. I don't think I changed a damn thing. <laughs> okay. Right here. He sucks. Thanks.
and, and you're actually going to, you know, conquer the thing in front of you, it kind of just it develops a certain level of intensity, I think. But really also, also the, you know what, you, 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 you got to go with what the script says, usually. The script gives you all your, your, your basic givens, and then you go from there. And uh, a lot of it starts off with how would I do this if this were me, you know? And basically, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a badass sometimes. <laughs> I'm since really, I'm a nice guy. I'm a nice person, right? Of course you are. Yeah, I'm a nice guy. Okay, okay since time. Scott just so arrived. No acting. Since Scott just arrived, does anyone have a question for Scott? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know who said that? Hey, Everyone has their strengths, 
you know? Um, you know, Emily can sing for me, and, and Carol can comfort me, and Merle can piss me off. <laughs> the governor can make me want to kill him. Why are you and, and Rick, well, I'm talking about that. Uh, uh, but they're all, everybody, Daryl can like, you know, look all hot. You know, everyone <laughs> like grabbing hold of a lion's tail. This show moves. The actors are, are fantastic. They, like the I was saying, I saw the first season before I came on board, and I became a fan of the show because it, it really just, I love the acting, I love what all the, the actors were doing, and it was, I said I'd like to be a part of it. So, it, it's fun, and, it, and I've enjoyed it. It's been a lot of fun. Tough. It, it's uh, they have a process called green screen that you put a, a green sock on your leg, and then they can shoot shoot your leg, and then they shoot where you were, and they have a process that allows them to make the, <coughs> the legs. And also, there's a lot of scenes where you're holding the leg back so it doesn't register on camera. 
So it, it's a pretty physical thing to do. I was just saying, it must be difficult to pretend you're only have one thing. You know, to, to walk like you're only have one thing. Yeah, but I'm doing so much fast. Well, I don't know. Hey, I wasn't sure. Do, 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 you, do they tie your leg back or do you have to hold it back, bro? They have to hold it back. That sucks. That's hard to do. <laughs> It's really not easy being really really green. <laughs> and it's expensive too, right, Scott? That's right. You're looking a lot like Santa Claus right now, too. <laughs> Do you want some mustache wax? It's still a little bit loud. find the way. There's no set way to approach it or go about it. You, you'll find your own way. You have to get involved in it, though, to find your own My thing would be uh, read out loud so that you can hear your voice and we can hear it too. Shot me, 
weeks. I want one more now. basically said if there was a real zombie apocalypse, would you want to continue throughout the, I guess, the carnage, or would you want to end it? Thank you. 